When it happens, it's terrifying. <laughs> Balconies and decks collapsing without warning. The disaster in Berkeley earlier this week left six people dead. 911 emergency, what are you reporting? Hi, people just fell off our balcony. It's happened before, 2003. 12 people killed in Chicago when a deck fell three floors out from under them. 2013, a family posing for a Christmas photo. In an instant, a terrifying collapse, injuring seven people. <laughs> These students were posing for their prom photos in Indiana when this happened. They were lucky, they all survived. Research shows that there's a 50% chance of surviving a third floor collapse, but there are ways to prevent disaster. Engineer Chris Crepsio of Merit Engineering showed us what you need to know to make sure the balcony you walk on is safe. Perhaps the most important thing to remember is too much weight on a deck or balcony can lead to disaster. That's what appears to have happened in Berkeley. There were 13 people jammed on the small balcony when it collapsed. There are certain things you can do um, in terms of making sure you don't have too many people on the balcony. Is there any hard and fast rule? Yeah, we typically say if you, if you put your arms, you know, we use what we call the elbow rule. The so elbow if you rule. put your arms like this and you're yeah. touching somebody else, you probably have too many people. Two years ago, a New York City woman fell to her death when a guardrail gave way. She was on a first date. What sort of things are you looking for in terms of safety when you're talking on a balcony? Yeah, the first thing we look for is the railings. Typically, we'll shake it. You know, we'll put a pretty significant load onto it. Also, we'll check the base plates, make sure that they're properly secured. There are specific things to look for with concrete balconies. What we do typically is, the first of all, the visual test. We'll see if there's any cracking, any scaling, any areas that are obviously uh, deteriorated. We want to check the connection between the actual balcony, the concrete balcony, and the building. In the end, it comes it back to using to really common sure sense. Understanding that a small balcony shouldn't hold 10, 15, 20 people.